saw is the new bot on the block. You've never fought in the wars before. Now, panic attack, reckon you've got one hit if you're lucky. What do you say to that? I say panic attack is getting old and decrepit and it's about time he was retired and we're here to do the job. Ooh. Can you do the job though? Realistically, it's a good robot. Easily. We've had, we've had a look at him and um, the axe is powerful. It'll go through the top of him, but what we're aiming to do, flip him over, hit him from underneath, a couple of times, he'll be dead. No problem. Well, team, this is your one chance to prove yourselves. Absolutely. So make it count. No problem. <laughs> Will the underdog shake it then? Axel, our wild card warrior against the experienced panic attack. From Langport in Somerset, Axel. Most parts come from packaging machinery. It has an axe and a flipper. No wild card challenger has yet beaten one of our experienced machines, don't forget. I'm Rob, this is my father Gilbert, my friend Adrian, and we're Team Ironhawk. This is our new robot, Axor. It's got two weapons. The first, a very powerful axe, um, very capable of doing some serious damage to robots. The second is the flipper. This is very capable of flipping uh, robots powered off high gas pressure. Our house robots in the arena. Sergeant Bash, watch for a lick of flame here and there. And Shunt, watch for the pushing bulldozer scoop. Rumbleteers, stand by. Three, two, one. Green light from the ref bot. And panic attack on the attack. Immediately on Axor, barrel shaped for the Axor with the axe that comes down. Driven by Robert Grimm. Michael Owen, Liverpool football fan. Will it be grim news here for Axor against Panic Attack? The armour of Panic Attack virtually impenetrable, always has been, to Kim Davis' secret design in underneath Axor, negating then the power of the axe. The axe can't get them. They're in underneath, they've rolled Axor over, self right, good style. Good driving by Robert Grimm there. Let's have a look at it. Panic attack, it was a worthy shove, rolling, rolling Axel over. And immediately, boing, boing, up it comes. Challenger this. Axel, 97 kilos, just the lighter. Not quite as long as panic attack. Panic attack this time hoists up using the pneumatic lifting forks. Carries Axel around the arena. They're loving it. Towards the... Ah, I see now. The tactic. The pit release button. Panic attack will reverse onto the pit release button. And then piggyback Axor towards the pit. This is all rather inevitable, isn't it? And rather ghoulish and ghastly for Axor. And they're about to be dumped in the pit any moment now. But well, what a fine and stylish performance by Panic attack this was. Inexorably. Hit it. Very, very impressive, Kim Davis. Well done. That was good stuff. Yes. This is the decisive moment. Driving onto the arena sidewall so they could get in underneath and hoist Axor onto the top. Then the pit release. Knew exactly what he was going to do. Had his tactics worked out in advance, Kim Davis probably. There towards the pit, and uh, off you go. You're too heavy for me. Well, we said Robot Wars Extreme is about the best of the best. What more proof do you need? Axor in awe of an ex-UK champion and consigned to the pit of oblivion. Let's hear it for Panic Attack. Say, I mean, expert driving. Well, I thought they would have passed it, but they've proved that they've still got a bit of life left in them. There's life in the old dog yet? Yeah, they're very experienced, and uh, although we've got the power, we didn't really get too much chance to demonstrate it. They were just a bit too uh, controlled for us. Mm, you've got a very good axe. 
Very good axe. It's a full pressure axe. Um, it's capable of doing quite a bit of damage. It self rights us quite nicely. Mm, but not today, though. Well, it self rights us there, but once they got underneath us and just carried us about, there's nothing we could do. It's always the case like that, yeah. though, isn't it, when yeah. he wants to get you on his back? That's it. Piggyback, and that's just the end of it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Axel! Yeah, I'm just getting to the granny team. Oh, Sad, isn't it? Yeah. Are you going to trash her and mash her? Yeah. Yeah, are you? I suppose so. Um, it's sad, isn't it? I mean, it's a no-win situation. We uh, either get beaten by an old granny, or we get condemned for beating up an old granny. I know. So, what can you do? Win. That's <laughs> what we're here for. All right. <laughs> From Langport, Axel. Similar overall to Iron Ore, which lost in its Series 4 heats, most parts made from the packaging machinery has an axe and a flipper. Eight mile an hour top speed sluggish, and the turning circle seems too wide for me. Roboteers, stand by. Two family teams here, the Granny's Revenge boys, Trevor Andrew and his sons George and Philip, and Axe Ore, Gilbert and Robert Grimm, and Adrian Moore, their friend. Sergeant Bash has no friends in the arena with its long-range weaponry. And who likes to kill a lot after all? Well, I do, because he's got crushing claws and that piercing lance. Three, two, one, activate. The ref bot looks on and blinks in disbelief as Granny's Revenge wheelchair enters the arena and turns away. Good to see the blankets on, just to keep you warm, love, out there, OK? Now, don't go too fast. You mustn't stumble over. Axel doesn't know what to do. Uh, well, you've got to be cruel to be kind sometimes, Axel. The granny's doing rather well here. She's sort of turning away with the chainsaw. What a nightmare this is. Oh, here comes the flamethrower. Granny's... <laughs> Granny's on fire. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Now, has she got her teeth in? That's what I want to know. Somewhere down in that pit of doom, you know what's down there, don't you? There's an empty beaker with some teeth in it. All grannies have them. Oh, dear. What a rotten end to the Andrew family. Any moment now, there's another lick of flame from Sergeant Bash. Axe or is going to pick Granny's revenge. <laughs> or is she going to do it herself? Go on, you're going to miss the pension down the post office, love. Got to be out of the arena quickly. Oh, who's got in there with her? The ref box got in. Granny's got hold of the ref box. What a dreadful thought. Granny's revenge is pensioned off. The winner. Axel! Well, it was asking to be, to be burned, really, wasn't it? It was asking to be burned, really, wasn't it? And, um, let's face it, you're not going to have an easier battle, really, are you? Well, I don't know about that. That was actually quite hard work, trying to do a mercy killing after the poor old deer caught fire. Are you feeling confident? Hmm, slightly. All right. Hey, let's go hell for leather for Axel! Villages at war, not robots at war, because you're from the small town of... Langport. You're from the small town of... Langport. Oh, my goodness, it's war. Um, who are the villagers again? Just... The villagers are with me. With and against you? No, they're with me. Got nothing to do they're with, with him. you. Oh, they're, he says they're with him. Wishful thinking. Another fairy story from Old Somerset. <laughs> oh dear. Who's going to win? We are! Yeah. Okay. I'm Rob, this is my father Gilbert, and my friend Adrian, and we're Team Iron Ore. This is our new robot, Axor. It's got two weapons. The first, a very powerful axe, um, very capable of doing some serious damage to robots. The second is the flipper. This is very capable of flipping uh, robots, powered off high gas pressure. 
we're running with two Bosch 750 watt motors um, through driving through wheels with golf sled spikes on. Provided us with very good grip. And we're here to kick axe. Roboteers, stand by. Will Roger plant his machine into the heat final, or will the Grimm family fairy tale have a happy ending with Axor in the arena? Sergeant Bash, watch for the long range of that flamethrower. And Matilda, tough exoskeleton, tougher tusks, and the flywheel to boot. Good battle here. Wheelie Big Cheese is the quicker machine. Both 99 kilos, both from Langport in Somerset. Axor flipped! Oh, goodness me, by Wheelie Big Cheese! That has to be a Robot Wars record flip! Look at the distance achieved here! That is immense! Out of the arena, out of the Robot Wars galaxy! Cease. Huge power! seconds and 15 feet the winner is wheelie big cheese Come on. Um, i bet you've gone right off dairy products <laughs> <laughs> well they said they were going to give us some uh, extra training i didn't realize flying was part of it did you see how you flew. Wow, I mean, that's the highest robot you've ever had in this arena. I, 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 I've never seen anything the like. I mean, Chaos 2 reckon they've got to flip it. <laughs> <laughs> they should think again. I mean, we can't really talk about a fight because there wasn't one. We hit him. Well, yeah. Come on, we hit him. Yeah, I bet you wish you didn't. <laughs> Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, let's hear it. Axel!